नमस्कार दिस इज एन ऑनलाइन लेक्चर वीडियो ऑन सर्किट डिजाइन ऑफ परमानेंट मैग्नेट सिंक्रोनस जनरेटर क्योटिक सिस्टम व्हिच इज अ वेरिएबल स्पीड इलेक्ट्रिक ड्राइव यूजिंग मल्टीसीम द कोर्सेज व्हिच विल बी बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर वीडियो आर इंडस्ट्रियल ड्राइव्स एंड कंट्रोल इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन्स पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड ड्राइव्स एंड अदर सच रिलेवेंट कोर्सेज द स्पीकर इज मनोशिता डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग तेजपुर यूनिवर्सिटी अहम इंडिया so here we begin with the ods of pmsg chaotic model so in the model of pmsg taken from reference 1 if we replace all the alpha i's by 1 we get the equation as in given number 1 the denotations of the state variables x1 x2 and x3 and the parameters say 15 and 110 may be referred from reference 1 or from the video link determining equilibrium points of nonlinear systems using matlab where i have already explained the same let us begin with an example say solve the differential equation dx dt is equal to 9.8 minus 0.19x now to find the solution x we have to first integrate dx dt similarly for this particular ordinary differential equation ode Oh, to find out the solution x one, we have to integrate x one dot or this side of the right hand side of the equation. Let us see how. System one can be written as in equation number two, where the solutions x one, x two, and x three can be obtained by integrating the right hand side of the set of ODEs. Now, in circuit design, x one, x two, and x three on the left hand side, we shall consider them as the output voltage. and those terms at the right hand side of the equation we shall consider them as the input voltage here three important operations are being carried out so let us consider the first part of the equation number 2 x1 here the first operation that is carried out is number 1 addition of two terms 15 x2 and minus 15 x1 so which component in circuit design gives us a summation of the two input terms it is a summing amplifier the second operation number 2 is the integration of the summation of these two terms so the circuit component that will be involved here is the integrating op amp number 3 the third operation carried out here is the negation or the inversion of the positive sign for instance here in minus 15 x1 minus x2 or minus x3 so the circuit component that is used to invert the sign to get the minus sign is the inverting op amp so to implement each part of the equation for x1 for x2 and x3 we need three particular op amps number 1 is a summing amplifier or the summing op amp number 2 is the integrator or the integrating op amp and number 3 is the inverting op amp so what we can do is we can use an amplifier that performs both the functions of addition as well as integration so it is the summing integrator op amp and the equation is given as this v0 is equal to minus 1 by c integration of v1 by ra plus v2 by rb plus v3 by rc where v1 v2 and v3 are the input voltages and ra rb and rc are the resistances corresponding to the input voltages c is the capacitor responsible for the integration part and v not is the output voltage now see here this is the equation of the inverting op amp v not is equal to minus rf by rd into vi where v not is output voltage vi is the input voltage rd is the resistance corresponding to the input voltage and rf is the feedback resistance now let us consider the first part of the equation 2 x1 can be considered as the output voltage v not now due to this negative sign we take negative common from this first part of the equation so we get minus integration of minus 15x2 plus 15x1 an important thing to observe here is we shall get the input voltages all in negative form for instance here it was positive x2 so here we will get minus x2 here it was plus sorry minus x1 so here we will get plus x1 minus x2 and x1 can be considered as the input voltages v1 and v2 say now the coefficients 15 for x2 and 15 for x1 can be represented in circuit by an equivalent resistance values so correspondingly we can write the equation as x1 is equal to 1 by c1 for 
the integration part then 1 by r2 corresponding to 15 r9 by r8 is due to the negative sign that is the equation of the inverting op amp minus x2 plus 1 by r1 is the equivalent resistance of 15 into x1 let us move on to the next slide. so the circuit of equations are obtained as in 5 all the capacitance here c1 c2 and c3 are are replaced by 100 microfarad and all the resistances of inverting op amps are taken to be 100 kilo ohms we can take uh, the values as per our convenience for the circuit design now what do we do we equate the coefficient of x1 x2 and x3 here for instance the coefficient of x2 is 1 by c1 into 1 by r2 into r9 by r8 and in the original equation 1 the coefficient of x2 was 15 so we equate it to 15 and get the value of r2 as 0 0.667 similarly the coefficient of x1 is 1 by c1 into 1 by r1 and the coefficient of x1 in equation 1 was 15 again if we equate it we will find that r1 is equal to 0 0.667 similarly the rest of the values are calculated now let us move on to the multi sim so here i have the multi sim window open first i'll choose a uh, analog place analog you can place the name of the write the name of the op amp component here and select ok i have chosen a tl04 a ct b here cancel now what i can do is i can right click on this and select play vertically this will convert the non-inverting op amp into inverting one then i can go to select basic i'm going to select the resistor okay run it here next another resistor okay i'm going to put it here next capacitor okay and here next i can go to sources and select ground okay i'm going to put it here next i can select vcc vcc yeah okay i place it here another vcc okay and place it here now i'm going to arrange them so here i'm going to add all the resistances values to the non-inverting sorry to the inverting terminal that is to number six so this one r1 and r2 i'm going to connect it like this then fifth terminal i'm going to ground it like this then vcc i'm going to add it here i'm going to stop here yeah and the capacitance i'm going to put it here this and this one i'm going to flip vertically like this and then add it here so name i'm going to bring it here for clarity okay i'm going to change this to minus 15 minus 1 5 okay this one i'm going to change it to label vcc 1 okay yes oh and this one okay let me make it bcc bcc okay and value i'm going to give it plus okay yeah. okay plus 15 volt minus 15 this one. yeah okay now what i can do is i will give the naming place mm -hmm. let me the graph here place text so here i'm going to place a text it will be the first input voltage is x1 corresponding to r1 so i'll put here x1 x1 okay next place graphic place graphic text next text here so corresponding to x2 we had 1 by r2 so i'm going to place it here minus x2 yeah the value of r1 was 
0 0.667. So I'm going to replace change this value to 0 0.667k. And similarly for R2 for 0 0.667k, C1 we had replaced by 100 microfarad. Now, uh, what we can see is that there is a negative value of x1 is also required as you can see in equation 5 minus x1. So what we will do, we will insert a inverting amplifier. Copy and paste. Somewhere here. Okay. So this is not required. We will delete it. This is not required. We will delete it. Now this one is not required. So we will again delete it. Connect it here. And we will require one control C control V. Yeah. So this one is the feedback resistance RF of the inverting amplifier. Okay. Now value of R3 and R4 was R3 and R4 was 100 kilo ohm. So it will be 100. Right click and 100 kilo ohms. Okay. And this will be 100. 100 kilo ohms. Okay. So X1 after negating or negation we will get here as minus X1. Right. So please graphic x as this is here minus x1 similarly the rest of the equations for x2 and x3 can be formed so here we have formed the rest of the equations corresponding to x1 x2 and x3 here if we consider the second equation we see here there is one term x2 so x2 corresponding to r5 then x1 x3 corresponding to r6 x1 and x3 corresponding to r6 now we see here that x1, x3 has been divided by 10. Why? Because we are realizing x1 and x3 using uh, the nonlinearities are realized using the analog multiplier AD6 double 3. So taking the saturation property of the practical electronic multiplier into consideration, the signals of the system are reduced by 10%. That is why if we click on this, we have put out put gain by 10 uh, volt by volt. Okay. And the last input voltage was minus x1 so this is minus x1 now here we have seen that there is an inverter op-amp to convert x1 to minus x1 there is another inverter op-amp to convert x2 to minus x2 but there is none here why because there is no term involved minus x3 in the given set of equations if there was a term minus x3 then we would also use a uh, an inverter op-amp here to convert from uh, x3 to minus x3 the remaining values of the corresponding resistances have been taken from here now we start connecting x1 to x1 yeah okay then minus x2 to x2 so yeah okay similarly we will connect the rest of the connections and obtain the next. so we have done the connections everywhere here now, have you observed that we have replaced the value of C1 from 100 microfarad to 100 nanofarad to avoid saturation? Now, secondly, if you want to implement fractional order circuits, then we have to replace this capacitance value by a corresponding fractional order form, fractional order circuit. Now, suppose I want to see the output now. So, I'll select this particular oscilloscope tectronics and I will see the output between X1 and X2 plane. So I'll connect 1.1 channel to X1 and the second channel to X2. Now I'll run and see what I get here. See, I can get the os oscilloscope result over here. Also, I can use another oscilloscope here. This one is a tectronics one. Here, time series can also be seen. This one is attractor A versus B or X1 versus X2. Here too, you can see the time series and the attractor here. The assignment of today's class is to design a circuit of fractional order chaotic system in multisim and this is the reference. For any query, you can always contact Dr. Manoshita Bora, assistant professor, and these are my phone numbers and this is my mail ID. Thank you.